person says he does know what happened to Loretta. What you're going to hear now are excerpts of an interview with a confidential informant, his identity and voice disguised to protect his safety. I worked a case that was due to narcotic pills being trafficked from Houston to Jennings. During that investigation, I had I was at the house where the pills were being distributed. That's when our informant says a fight broke out between two men. During the scuffle, each saying they would tell what the other had done. So after that went on, I grabbed one of them and walked to the side of the house with him. And that's when he said what had happened to the first victim. Loretta. Loretta Chasson. That's what they meant when they said, I'll tell on you, but no, I'll tell on you. They both actually had something to do with it. Our informant says the entire conversation was captured on tape, a wire worn by one of the people he used to gain entry into drug houses in Jennings. I know you're actually afraid of what's going to happen to you at this point, safety-wise. Yeah. Yeah. Just know I did, I did do the recording. I knew what happened, and I don't think nobody wants people to find out what really happened. The family, haunted by the unknown, wants nothing more, while our informant says knowing that information has haunted him for years. Just having the truth finally told, me knowing what happened and it never coming out. Here's the information our informant says the tape contained. He said him and a group of girls were boarding and he was prescribed to methadone wafers, which he kept feeding to Loretta Chasson. After a while, she collapsed. He wraps her in some blankets. Then he goes back and continues pouring with the other girls. He went back and checked on her a few times, he said, but at 2 a.m. is when he realized she had died. She had OD'd from the medicine. Those other girls, some of those other girls were pouring with him. That's when he says the men disposed of Loretta's body, dumping her in the canal. So how has this affected you over the years, knowing you may have the evidence that could solve this case? Oh, yeah, it's bothered me for a while. But you're saying you don't feel like you can talk to anybody in Jennings about it at this point? I've already tried. Okay. You know, I've already done the approach that we you know, that needed to be. We contacted the task force and have yet to receive a response. We have turned over the information to authorities, including the name of the person our informant says wore the mic. That person is currently being held in a facility out of state on unrelated charges. While we weren't able to contact them, we did speak to family members, one of which told us they do remember a tape recorder and the person saying they were trying to do something good. While we can't say if this information is correct, what we can say is that our informant has offered to take a polygraph should he be offered one by authorities. Coming up. Oh, we're working on it. We're working on it. Then I'll do the damn thing.